pint of fat before we get going? Yeah. <laughs> okay, results time. <laughs> well, for LDL cholesterol, which is the cholesterol that is associated with increased risk in heart disease, the people who were taking butter on average increased their LDL cholesterol by 0.3 millimoles per litre, which is about 10%. Right, so the poor old butter group, their heart disease risk went up, but in a way that was kind of completely predictable. Yes, right? and when you stop having that butter, yeah. it reverts again. Yeah. On the olive oil, there was a very small average reduction, not significant, so essentially no difference in LDL cholesterol on the olive oil diet. OK, so now for the big one, coconut oil. Well, LDL cholesterol for coconut oil went down by 0 0.09 millimoles per litre. So no overall increase in LDL cholesterol, which was really a big surprise for us and not in line with what we'd come to believe from previous studies. So butter raised LDL and olive oil did not, both as expected. But surprisingly, neither did coconut oil, which is high in saturated fat. The fact that it didn't is really, really surprising. We also measured HDL cholesterol, which is the good cholesterol, and we found that coconut oil increased your good cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, more than olive oil and butter. Butter and olive oil both raised good cholesterol by about 5%, but coconut oil raised it by an impressive 14%. And because it helps remove the bad stuff, the more good cholesterol you have compared to bad, broadly, the better. So, in our study, coconut oil did not raise bad cholesterol despite being high in saturated fat. And it also seemed to increase good cholesterol. So I must admit, I found that surprising, the idea that you can eat something which is rich in saturated fat and your LDL levels don't go up. Why? One explanation is that coconut oil is rich in lauric acid, which may be processed in the body differently from other saturated fatty acids. So I guess the message from it is not all saturated fats are the same, and it is possible that some saturated fats are actually beneficial. Within saturated fats, there are actually probably good and bad saturated fats. And the art is identifying the good ones. That's the challenge. So um, watch this space. Yes. Yes. Further studies are needed to find out the long-term effects of coconut oil on health. But our results were unexpectedly good. So I'm not going to be glugging it by the litre, but I'm certainly going to be using it more in my cooking. <laughs>